Hey guys, welcome to the new video of this series and in this video we will be going to install the HDF operator. So in the last video we created the Kubernetes cluster and we set it up with the lens ID and the kubectl command line. So now uh, in this video we will be going to install the HLF operator. So I'll start with cloning the repository first. So let me uh, open my browser here. Yeah. And uh, you have to go to this link uh, that I will mention in the description as well. And first you have to clone the repository. So just click on this code and just clone the URL. And then move to a terminal and just run this git clone command. Git clone and the repository should be cloned in your system. So you already cloned the uh, repository. And uh, I'll show you that. So the repository inside this my home directory, and there I have all the files. And uh, after that, uh, once you just clone this repository, first you have to make sure that you have Helm installed in your system. So I have already installed the Helm in my machine, but if you haven't, then you can go to this official website of Helm, Helm.sh, and from here you can get the Helm. So just click on this get started and you should see uh, this helm installation uh, section and from there you can just download the helm. So you can get this, uh, just run these three commands and the helm should be installed in the machine. So I have already installed the helm and I can verify that using the command. So if I do helm version, so I'm using the helm version 3. So you can see here, uh, this is Helm version 3. And also, uh, now since we have cloned this repository and we have the Helm as well, now I can proceed toward installing this HLF operator. So the command that we have to run to install the HLF operator is this one, which is Helm, Helm install, Helm install, and then the, here you have to give the name, and then you have to give the location of your operator. So the operator is present inside this, uh, this directory uh, that we just cloned and if you hit enter it should install the operator in your in the Kubernetes restroom. So we can see that the operator code deployed successfully and uh, if I just do kubectl get pods if I do kubectl get pods we should see uh, the operator as well and right now it is in creation phase so the pods are created but in couple of uh, seconds, uh, this operator should be up and running. So now we have done the first step and, and the next step is to install the HLF plugin as well. So that you can install uh, through the official documentation of this HLF operator uh, that you can find here in the repository. So if you scroll down here, if you scroll down, you can see this command which is kubectl crew install hlf so this is going to download and install this plugin which is a kubectl plugin so let me just copy this command and let me open my terminal here let me clear this and uh, let me run this command so this will install this plugin as well and here we can see that uh, this plugin is already installed on my machine uh, but if it is not installed in the machine, then it will install that. So now uh, let me clear up this and let me do kubectl get pods just to verify if the pods are up and running. Yeah, so the pods are up and running and we can just check the logs as well. Uh, so for that, I will open my lens ID. Uh, we can see that the operator is up and running and we can just check the logs as well. So we can check the logs of this manager, manager pod, and we can see that this operator is installed successfully. Also, we can check the custom resources that are created by this HLF operator. So we can check the custom resource definitions as well. So that you can find here uh, in the custom resources section. And here you should see uh, this one, which is the HLF Kung Fu software. And also, if you click on these definitions, uh, you can see, let me just close this. Here you can see that we have custom resources definition available for uh, Fabric CAs, HLF, Fabric Ordering Nodes, Ordering Service, PS. 
so we have the custom resources for uh, all these and and in the coming up videos we are going to leverage these custom resources to set the hlf network so that's all for this video hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one